You know the great rivalries of history. Cambridge versus Oxford. Good versus evil. The Bee Gees versus Barbra Streisand. But who goes head to head in the world of strategic thinking? In the red corner, Roger Martin, co-author of Playing to Win. And in the blue corner, Rita Gunther McGraw, author of The End of Competitive Advantage. I'm your referee, Michael Bungay Stanier of Box of Crayons, and I'm here to see just how they match up. There are a lot of books on strategic thinking, and most of them are not worth the slightest bit of effort. But there's gold amongst the dross, and my two favorite books on strategy of the last 18 months are these two. But they're different. Roger Martin, who wrote the book with A.G. Laffley, who's the Procter & Gamble's former CEO, he focuses on the five key strategic questions that have underpinned P&G's rise to power. And P&G is the epitome of a company successfully driving sustainable competitive advantage. McGrath, on the other hand, says that sustainable competitive advantage is dead. Things are just too volatile for that. What people need is transient competitive advantage. Now, these are both two really good books, and there's an interesting tension between them. One of Roger Martin's questions is, where do we play? McGrath says, it's not about the industry anymore. It's about arenas, which is more a focus on customers and solutions rather than market segment and geography. Martin asks, so what management systems are required? And McGrath offers up, the most important thing is for these systems to be able to reconfigure almost instantly to best find the balance between stability and agility. Martin challenges us to understand what capabilities need to be in place. And McGrath says, if innovation's not one of them, you're doomed. So, which one of these two authors should you pick? Well, I'm going to be non-courageous and say both of them. Because at the heart of both of these books is the call to bring some serious thinking in response to some serious questions about the practice of strategy. And the other key message which, they, which rings loud and clear through both the books is this. Strategy can't be a one-off annual conversation. It must be the beating heart of the organization, a constant and active presence. So, how are you doing with your strategy? Now, if you want more provocation to think, make sure you do sign up for our webinar series, no more than 15 minutes long, and each one shares a practical tool for the time crunched manager. And if you found this useful, please do share it with colleagues and friends. That would be doing me a great favor.